To the people who live here, the mountains of Shanji province, it's obvious why they want to stay. Dug into the flanks of these mountains in northern China, caves have been home to millions of people for thousands of years. But that all might change. The government wants cave dwellers to move into high-rise buildings. But many are frightened at the prospect. The move would mean a change in income, unfamiliar surroundings, and a new way of life. For some, they're happy where they are. A cave is convenient, and it's warmer than an apartment. An apartment building is only heated when the central heating is turned on. Old people like me can't stand this cold during the winter, and the heat is turned off early before the summer. Li Kongdai is one of many elderly farmers who live off the land. He says an apartment will bring new costs such as electricity or gas, and there'd be no way of supporting himself off the land, from which he now earns anywhere from 80 to $125 a year. People as old as us cannot live in an apartment. If you leave the village, it all depends on money. Those who leave need to have money. Where does the money come from? After they've moved, some people say they're not given furnished homes. Some places don't have plumbing or electricity, nor are there allowances to help. Millions of people across northern China still live in these so-called caves, and the government says it wants to relocate 2.8 million of them to new homes this year alone to help end extreme poverty in China. As of now, overall, our work has been proceeding smoothly. The common folk are very supportive. From the viewpoint of the people who have been moved, most of them have already been removed from poverty. Around 30 million people in China live below the government's poverty line of $360 a year. And nearly 1 million people a month will need help to be lifted out of poverty if the government is to meet its own 2020 deadline. This top-down initiative by the government will mean tremendous upheaval, and even with the promise of a better life, many people in northern China want to stay. After all, there's no place like home, even if it's a cave. Yasin again, TRT World.